Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Before we get into today's video guys, I do want to give you all the big fat disclaimer that Bandai Namco did hook me up with a review key for Elden Ring, so that way I can bring you guys guides, tips, and all that fun jazz. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into today's video and today's topic. Now, um, for what you're going to be wanting to do in this video is you're probably looking to get yourself started in multiplayer. If you've went through the intro to Elden Ring already and you've gotten outside to the world map, chances are you've gotten your fingers, you're able to obtain your summon sign, place your sign down, all that fun stuff. But you're probably wondering why multiplayer still isn't working for you. Well, that's because you need to get this item called a crafting kit. And the reason for this is because you want to make a specific item in this game called Feral Calling Finger Remedies. These are basically your humanities, um, human effigies, um, embers, you know, the item that makes you see summon, summon signs, like in any typical Dark Souls game. And you're going to have to use these once every time your character dies or or anything like that. This would be, you know, what turns you into your human form if this were Dark Souls 1, if that makes any sense. But um, what you want to do is you want to go to the Church of L.A. And once you head there, it's pretty much a straight path once you start from the um, from the introduction of the game, and you're going to want to talk to the NPC there. He sells you a crafting kit for 300 runes. And you use this crafting kit to craft what is called the fur calling finger remedies and once you craft those you basically just cast them on your character and you're able to see you know summon signs that are yellow of course you know those are going to be your ally summon signs if you see a red summon sign you know that's pvp and all that and all that fun stuff like that but that's pretty much all there is to the multiplayer portion of this game it's not really complicated and i also have a guy that'll show you how to get a lot of these early flowers so you can craft these easily i'll leave a link to that guide down in the description below but anyway guys y'all enjoyed today's video smash that like button if this guide helped you consider subscribing i will see y'all in the next one peace out have a good one